We made three boxes perspective. You have the top view above the horizon line, the box on the horizon line, and the box below the horizon line. Today we're going to be expanding on this knowledge and we're going to be talking about three-point perspective. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your paper, uh, you're going to need a ruler, and you're going to need a pencil for this. So taking only half of your sheet here, just like what we did with our two-point perspectives, we're going to take our ruler, we're going to put it straight across the paper so it goes landscape, and then we're going to draw a line that goes straight across, create a horizon line. Be as close to the center as possible, but if it's not 100%, that is perfectly okay. Uh, we need to create our two points, so one and two, right off to the side. All right, and then we don't want to forget these points, so we're going to go ahead and just give these points names. So we're going to name this one Bob, and we're going to name this one Billy. All right, and this is just to help us remember to where, which points to use, because it's going to get a little confusing when you add on additional points. Now, the next step is we have to make our third point. So depending on whether we put the point above or below the horizon line is going to change what type of perspective box that we're making. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come over to the left side of our paper here and we're going to put a point right here at the very top of our paper, just right there. And then so that we don't get confused, we're going to give it one more name. We're going to name this one Andy. So now we have Bob, Billy, and Andy, three different points. So now with our ruler, we line our ruler up with Andy. Now it's really important to make sure that you get this ruler lined up with the point. One little trick I like to do is I'll put my pencil down and then I will tap my pencil with the ruler. And that's how I know that I'm on that point and the ruler is connected to that point. We're going to take our pencil and we're going to go right along the ruler here. We're not touching Andy, we're not touching the horizon line, but we're on that line connecting to him. Now we have to connect our line from Andy down to our friend Bob over here. So just like with the two point, we're going to take our ruler and going from the top all the way down to Bob, we're going to draw a line. And then going from the bottom of this line all the way to Bob, we're going to draw a line. All right, and you should see a bit of a triangle shape there. And then exact same thing on this other side here, we want to make sure that Billy is connected to our friends Bob and Andy. So we're going to come all the way over here to Billy and we're going to connect him to the top line here. Make sure it is lined up straight and go straight down the ruler there. And then the exact same thing, we're going to go down to the bottom of this line and make sure he connects to Billy and go straight across there. So now we have all three of our friends, Bob, Andy, and Billy connected. Now this next part is where it differs from two-point perspective. So with the two-point, we would take our ruler and we'd create a straight line to create the sides of our box. That's not what we're doing for the three-point. So for the three-point, what we need to do is take our pencil, put it back on the point that's Andy, and make sure our ruler touches that point. All right, make sure it touches that pencil, and from there we can turn the ruler all right, so it's still touching the, the point, but we can turn it. And turning it is going to change the angle of the ruler. And this is where we're going to draw a line. And it's going to connect from the top line that we just drew here all the way down to that bottom angled line. And you're going to have a very angled looking line there. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on this other side. And it can be as far or as close as you want. The closer it is, the smaller the box you make. So now you should have two very angled lines that kind of go up and lead toward our point of Andy. And then just like with the two point perspective, we have to connect these bottom lines back to our other points. So right now this line is connecting to Andy and it connects to Billy, but we want it to connect to Bob. So we're going to take our ruler again and making sure that this bottom line connects all the way over to Bob right over there. And then this line, it's a little close there, but it still is not quite connected to Billy. So it is connected to Bob and Andy. And we're going to go ahead and just line it up as best as we can. And then connect this line all the way over here to Billy. And now you should have a box that is in a three-point perspective. And the interesting thing about this is it's going to be looking as if we're looking up at this box. So this is called the worm's eye view. 
and it basically is a very tall building and it looks like we're looking straight up that building from the very bottom of the ground. Now we're going to create one more box and that is going to be all the way below the horizon line. So we're going to make another point and it's going to be all the way down here on the right hand side of the paper instead of the left. So we've worked with Andy. Andy's no longer a part of this. So Billy, Bob, and Andy are friends, but Billy, Bob, and Joe are also friends, but Joe and Andy are friends. So these two will never connect. We're just going to be looking at these three friends down here. So just like before, we're going to connect our ruler to Joe and create a line that goes straight up. And then again, we're going to connect the, this line to our friends Billy and to Bob. So we're going to start by going all the way to Billy here and connecting him to the top of the line that connects to Joe and the bottom of the line that connects to Joe. And then exact same thing on the other side. We're going to connect a line all the way over to Bob from the top and all the way to Bob from the bottom. And you should again be left with our two triangle shapes. Just like the top, we're going to come back down here to Joe and to create the sides of our box, we're going to connect our ruler to Joe here and then just angle it out. I'm going to make this one a little bit on the bigger side this time. Make sure it touches from this bottom line all the way up to that top line. Just like that. And then same thing on the same other side with Billy. We're going to connect it to Joe and then straight up from there. And it should look like that. And then we have to, this line right here is connected to Joe and to Bob, but we want it to connect to Billy. So lining it up from here all the way back to Billy. We're going to go like that. And then this line is connected to Joe and Billy, but we want it to connect to Bob. So we're going to line it up from here and all the way back to Bob. And it's going to go like that. And this one is actually called our bird's eye view. And that's where it looks like we are looking at the building from the top as if we're in the sky. And the interesting thing about three-point perspective is that no matter where on the horizon line you put it, it really depends on where this third point is. So if we were to create a, another box, but our point was down below the horizon line, even though our line could go over, it's still going to be a bird's eye view. Or if the line is above the horizon line, if the point is above the horizon line, it's still going to be a worm's eye view if it goes below. So no matter what box that you make in this situation, it will always be one of these two types of perspectives. And here's just a quick example of that where the third point is below the horizon line. And even though this main line goes above it, we can still see that it is a bird's eye view that we're looking at. It's just a little bit more angled. So that's all you need to know for the three-point perspective. And if you are completely finished, then you should have two boxes on your three-point perspective and three boxes on your two-point perspective. And that's all you need to move on to the next part.